Oh, now it's you. Things have really gone from bad to worse here. Have the core's vibrations gotten too intense for the Tartars to suppress? Yes. At this rate, there will be nothing to prevent the Earth's liquefaction. Oh, the God. The plasma, the liquefaction. The Cliffoth is going back to the way it was. And the passage rings have stopped working, so we can't form the dividing line anymore. I guess we should start thinking of ways to actually destroy the miasma. Precisely. How about using your hyper-resonance, Luke? But I thought hyper-resonance couldn't destroy the miasma. Hyper-resonance can break down matter to an atomic level. I'm no specialist, but it's possible it... Based on the hyper-resonance that destroyed Axarioth, they do seem to be quite powerful. Hmm. By the way, from your greeting, I assume we're not your first visitors today? Ash came by to research the flow of Seventh Phonon since the land was lowered. Ash? Ash was here? Where did he go? He was staring intently at the Sephiroth measurements we'd taken here. That was the data from Mount Ronil. Shall we take a look? Yeah, we'll hit Batical after. For now, let's follow Ash. What'd they just say? I was spacing out. Data on the Mount Ronil Sephiroth. Ash later, but he pops. Here we are, planning to do with Ash later, but he pops up and involves the scores. Well, come the God Generals of Moe's, and we're still clueless about the key of Lorelei. And we still don't know how to take care of the Mayas, but what are we supposed to deal with first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit your bitching. We got a game to play. Northwest part of Sheridan. Bless you. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Jade, about that idea of using excuse a hyper resonance me. on the. It was a ludicrous idea. Forget about it. But if it could really neutralize the miasma. Have you forgotten? You're a replica, unable to fully control your hyper resonance. One wrong move, and you would die. Well, then maybe Ash could do it. If we see him on Mount Ronil. My apologies. I was unclear. It doesn't matter if it's the original or not. No one could cause a hyper-resonance strong enough to destroy all of the miasma on the planet. If he had something to amplify his powers, it might be a different story. Like what? You don't know when to give up, do you? No. Something that would reduce the strain on the body when manipulating hyper-resonance. You're stalling! Like what? The Sword of Lorelei, for one. One could gather a large amount of seventh phonons with that. And another? Any large quantity of seventh phonons. Let's see. Kill around 10,000 seventh phonists, or at least potential seventh phonists. Of course, the recoil from the hyper resonance would cause phonon separation, killing the user as well. The miasma would disappear at the cost of 10,000 lives. A small price to some. But that's. Impossible, obviously. Which is why I told you to forget it. Goodness, what in the world could happen? Yeah, it's uh That's one of the sadder parts of the game for sure. Still gets me whenever I, the scene happens. Uh Forbidden Spells, Sheridan, we gotta go to the northwest part of Sheridan. Hmm. Are you still troubled? Jade, everyone's worried about you, wondering what could make you of all people think so hard. Is that really the only way to get rid of the miasma? I mean, sacrificing 10,000 seventh phonists? Hmm, that must be quite serious for you to ignore my jab. But Jane, that's the only- 10,000 murders. You've destroyed Xeriath, hurt the people of Sheridan, and made yourself a lot of enemies. Are you willing to stain your hands with the blood of even more unknown masses? I- you can't do it. Don't even consider it. But this is the score Ion left for me. My forbidden power. Hmm. What's up, Jade? I thought hell would freeze over before I saw you worry about anything. How rude. I've led a very troubled life, you know. But it's still unusual. What's wrong? 
I was just preparing some medicines. Medicines? For example, to induce paralysis of temporary unconsciousness or to cause temporary cardiac arrest. Oh, I was just curious. Well, don't use them on people, please. Animals are fine. But what else would I use them on? Perhaps I'll see if they still work when I mix them in food. I'm staying away from anything he cooks. So am I. I mean, sociopath. A legit sociopath. He doesn't understand feelings and shit. <clears throat> like he kind of learns to, but not really. They said uh, Sheridan. So many side quests. And regular quests, I guess. Northwestern part of the so. Stop right there, evil man. Ah ha 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 ha, take this, Abyss Red, my special attack. The embrace of heartless silver that doth carve the barren wilds. Uh, what? What? Wasn't that some... The same as one of the lines on the ancient scroll? Hey, kid, do you think that special attack up all yourself? No, there was a weird treasure chest on the path to Port Sheridan, and those words were written on it. His father found it, but it doesn't open, so he brought the whole thing home. Hey, kids, let us have a look at that. Phonic sight. Go up to the second floor on the right side of the meeting hall. Enter the room there and talk to the person inside for a scene. So this is it. See, it's locked. It doesn't open. What do you think, Colonel? Let me see. So it's definitely a forbidden verse stone. The embrace of heartless silver that doth carve the barren wilds. Who'd have thought it'd be in a place like this? Yes. Hmm, new words have appeared on the ancient scroll. This is the way to cast the phonic of the forbidden verse. Phonic art, I'm guessing, is what I'm supposed to say there. In other words, we've undone the seal? Yes, so it appears. This phonic art is called Absolute. What kind of phonic art is it? We'll find out when I use it. Powerful. But it's only water, because ice doesn't exist in this world. So it's always water damage. Now like it was in the good old days when ice was its own element. And lightning was its own element, now it's all air damage. Welcome, I've been waiting for you to arrive! What? The creature you have with you has incredible powers, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm a sacred beast, so I'm incredible. Your power is just because of that ring. Can I talk you into the power to play a little game? You want to use Mew as a toy? It's okay, I'm strong. What are we supposed to do? Inside here, there's a large number of barrels. All you need to do is break them. That's all. There's a time limit. You get to keep everything that you get out of the barrels within that time. So we just have to bust up all the barrels we can. That's easy. Mew, are you going to be okay? You're going to be slammed against barrels one after the next. I'm fine. I want to be of use to master. Okay, then you'll need to pay 1,000 gold. You charge for this? Of course, there's good stuff in those barrels. It's actually pretty cheap. No. What? Come on, that's a fun. No. I don't care about that title. It does nothing. The Cheagle's right here. We just talked to him. He says his name is Star. I'm sorry, would you all mind if we stayed at the inn here tonight? What's up, Colonel? It must be my age. My back is hurting me, and I don't think I can walk today. Yeah, right. Oh, well, sure. Let's go to the inn. Go on ahead. Don't tell me you don't think you can even walk to the inn. No, my glasses have been acting up, so I'd like to borrow the lab here. Oh, I'll need fire. Mew, would you stay with me? Okay, then we'll go on ahead. Alright, Mew, tell him what is the gold. Before we begin the work, please lend the sorcerer's ring to Star. There's something I'd like to ask him. Mew, okay. Star, are you an original? A replica test subject? Yes. Did they make a replica? A copy of you? Yes, an icky man named Dis did it to me. I thought so. When was this? About half a year ago, I think. If you learned at Coral Castle that Luke and Ash are perfect isophones, then the timing matches. One last thing, what happened to the other you? I think he died. You think? Actually, I died once. 
And then after that, I felt something flow into me, and then I wasn't dead. And then the other me was gone. Does this mean Dis completed the perfect isophone research? Then those research results weren't just a coincidence. Mew, you mustn't tell anyone what you heard here. Even if I wanted to, I don't understand any of it. Yeah, most people don't. It's pretty complicated stuff. Life, death. Luke, are you still awake? Yeah, I was thinking, what is death anyway? The end of everything, perhaps? Yeah, if one end can make for another beginning, then I guess... Guess what? Luke, you look pale. I don't know what you're thinking, but they say that people become pessimistic at night. Let's go to sleep. Yeah, I guess. What could he be thinking? Excuse me. Uh, who do we talk to? You? Oh, excuse me. You there in the Malkuth uniform. May I help you? My phone on scanning device is reacting to your glasses. Would you mind letting me see them for a moment? Not at all. Here you are. Hmm? What is it? I always thought the colonel looked young for his age, but when he takes his glasses off, he looks even younger. Actually, he looks really... Yes, he has a very beautiful face. Really? I always thought I had a beautiful face even with my glasses on. Oh, jeez, you were seriously obnoxious. Are you done with my glasses yet? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Thank you. I see those glasses have a phone on regulating effects. You mean those glasses are phone tech? Wow, I wish I had some. I'm afraid you can't have mine. I have a somewhat special art applied to my eyes. Without these glasses, the phonic art has the potential to go out of control. What? So you don't have bad eyesight? You can't become a soldier with poor eyesight. My eyes are both 20-10. Wow, that makes 40-20 altogether. <laughs> I get it. Four eyes, because he, he wears glasses. <laughs> Funny. Contamination effect. We did that. We did phonic sight. Rocket tower. What is the point of this? For a scene. Okay. Hey, we already did Mount Alejo the second time. I don't know why those other quests were here. Those other quests were there, I mean. Rocket Tower. Jesus, there's so much crap to do in this game. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy work. Is it this tower or where is it? I'll talk to you. Northeast part of Sheridan and follow the metal walkway next to the music box house. Enter the building and climb to the top. If we can get the rocket finished, it'll bring about a lot of change in the world. We can get off this planet and live on the moon. With the fall into the cliff off, the skies become even higher. So are you the ones who dropped the outer lands into the cliff off? Yes, that was our work. I see, I see. Must have been tough. Good work! You're not upset? Why should I? The environment changed. The sky is higher up. Doesn't all that affect your experiments? Maybe. <laughs> You're quite kind, aren't you? I suppose looks can be deceiving. <laughs> looks can be deceiving, huh, Luke? But how can you remain so calm? A change in surface altitude would completely disrupt the environment. I know I'd be angry. Well, as it happens, I heard about you all from Iamon. He said you were pretty tough. Iamon. So, if our project succeeded, we figured we'd let you ride the prototype. Our project? Yes. Iamon was involved with this project as well. Although, to be more accurate, 
I quit the Albior too. Huh? So you helped make the Albior too? Up to a point. But after we got the theory of flight, I wanted to aim even higher. You wanted to pass beyond the sky? Through the stratosphere? Yes. At that point, getting the Albior off the ground was just a matter of time. My engineer spirit couldn't be satisfied with that, so I set my sights higher. I wanted to be the first to fly above the sky! So that's why you built a tower out here. It's true. The sky has grown more distant with the fall into the cliff off. Ah, yes, finally. We can get Mew Fire too. But the greater the obstacles, the greater the satisfaction. You all still have things to do, don't you? Yes. Then go take care of them. Afterwards, you'll all go up in my prototype. I know Iaman and the others will be watching. Right. We'll do our best. Okay. Nothing to make us more powerful again. It's just flavors, though. Um, but this next part, we're gonna get another art. We can finally get Mew Fire 2. What's this? Collector's book. Well, that's only possible when you get plus, so. I had no idea about this secret shop, though. Apparently, you can buy phone slot chambers there. Very interesting. stuff. We're headed to Mount Romeo anyway, so we might as... I mean, we should have done this. But all this other crap has kind of been like whatever so far. The Labyrinth Princess is nice for a good shop, so... There's that at least. So, Doth Bay. So the dude's here. Please, General Steele, please return once more to our kingdom. General Goldberg, what are you doing here? Princess Natalia? This man is my archer instructor. I will not allow you to mistreat him. I would not dream of it. We've come here searching for General Steele under his majesty's orders. General Steele? Do you mean the blind General Steele? Who's that? A Kimlaskan hero who devastated the Malkuth army at the Battle of Otelro. General Goldberg, I will not return to Kimlaska. But his majesty is concerned for your health. After I lost my sight, I reevaluated my life. I bid farewell to the me that could only live through slaughter. Please convey this message to his majesty. The steel who once taught archery is dead. Understood. Sorry to hear that. General Steel. No, master. Are you truly blind? You don't appear that way at all. It's true. I can see nothing, but I can sense your highness's presence. As well as that of the necromancer who robbed me of my sight. I thought so. That was your first battle, and my last. Yes, but I will not apologize, nor would I. That is how it is on the battlefield. Your Highness, I will now give you my final lesson. Yes, Master. Of the arts I use, this one is the most suited for your Highness. Suited for me? You have learned well, your highness. My phonic art, healing force, is now yours. This is a healing art, and it is your and it is truly worthy of you, your highness. Please use that please use that phonic art to heal your companions. I will use this art for the sake of my friends and for the sake of the people of my country. Healing force. Please use that phonic art to lead the people of Kimlaska to peace. The people of Kimlaska. Necromancer, when the chaos of this conflict ends, do you believe the world will find peace? No, it may become more peaceful temporarily, but it won't last long. What are you talking about? Kimlaska and Malkuth signed a peace treaty. 
The Order of Lore lies on the verge of collapse. It holds the potential to spark a new conflict. Unlike in fairy tales, the world doesn't live happily ever after. But no, the necromancer is correct. The history of mankind is the history of war. Peace does not last. That is precisely why it is precious. Yeah, we have to do everything we can to make sure peace lasts as long as it can. What's really important is what happens after we've achieved peace. Indeed, therefore, your highness, after this conflict ends, I hope you will devote yourself to the cause of extending the peace for as long as you possibly can. Please become a leader who heals the wounds of war and brings peace to the land. As long as I possess this art, I will not forget your words. I will do everything in my power. But before that, we have to calm the chaos in the world. Yes, I wish you the best, your highness. Thank you, General Steele. No, Master. Done and done for this. I've never really used Healing Force. It just, uh... It, it puts a hot on everybody. We shall see. It's the only AoE healing spell that she gets. So there's that. Find our old friends Sheba and Pico on the left side of Ketterberg in front of the inn by the pavilion. I didn't see them there. Maybe I wasn't really paying attention. Okay. Don't know what that's about. 